Hi, I'm Jake from Jag Results. Today we're going to learn how to make a custom Wix.com button with more than one line of text. In the current Wix software, you are limited to one line of text, and there's a number of reasons why you may want to overcome that. So let's get into it. Okay, I'm starting off here in a blank page of the Wix.com editor. In this scenario, the client wants a button that will say click here to sign up for a personalized exercise list sent to your inbox. As you can see, I've made the button in the standard Wix method. It's limited to one line of text. It is taking up most of the page, if not all and that's not feasible for every website and if you look at mobile it's even worse we can only see a couple of the letters without having two or more lines of text there's no way we're going to be able to have a button that says this so here is the best solution to creating a wix button with two or more lines of text you will need to open a digital art editing program examples of these include figma adobe illustrator vista create Microsoft Paint. You can even use PowerPoint or Google Slides. If you want decent quality output and a useful free program, I'd go with Figma. That's what I'm going to use today. So once you've got your digital editing software of choice, take note of the size and style of the button you're working on back in the Wix editor. Seeing here, my button has a width of 859 pixels and a height of 146. My corners are rounded with a 25 pixel radius. Once you have your digital editing software ready to go, you're going to make an identical rectangle to the one you're looking for in Wix. Take note of the color. This actually isn't important, so you can just leave it as gray, but just for example, I'll change it to green. Go ahead and type out the message you want for your button. Make sure to use the right type and size of font. Now is the part where you decide the layout of your text on the button. You can do it two lines, three lines. You can do it whatever way you want. There's room for creativity. Now is the point we can decide whether or not we want to add a graphic. If you haven't noticed before, Wix button graphics, or icons as they're called, can only be .svg files, meaning vector graphic format. Wix does have a number of built-in graphics, but if you don't find the one you want and don't want to spend the time acquiring a vector graphic, you're going to want to go to any site with free icons. I've found what may be the best icon site on the entire internet it's called icons8.com. No need to thank me, but the link is in the description if you need to use it. Find the icon you want. This is the one I want right here. You're going to go to download the appropriate size. Keep in mind only some of them are free, but they'll be plenty large for a website. You're going to import it into the design software, and now you can finalize the layout. Once you have everything lined up the way you want it, there's one key step you're going to have to do in order to choose any color for your button in the future. You're going to go down to the fill and you're going to change that to 0% or have no fill at all. What this is going to do is you're still, the button will still exist, but we can put any color underneath it. So you're going to want to click on your group then, make sure you grouped it. And in Figma, this is how you do it. You go down to the, make sure it's set to PNG and then you choose to export the group. So now we're back in the Wix editor and this is where the real magic happens. We're gonna go to our button and take off the text and icon, show nothing at all. Make sure you upload your button that you created in your editing software to your site's images. You don't need to add it to the page. Here's the trick. So you have the button uploaded. We're gonna go to the design. Then we'll go to Customize, we're going to go to Background Fills, add a layer, we're going to click on the fill picker, so you see it has Color, a gradient option, or Image, which it starts out with this default fern one, which looks pretty beautiful, but not going to use it today. So you're going to want to go to Change Image, grab your piece, and there you have it. Now this is overlaid, we can change the button to any color we want. So now we have a perfectly functional button. Clicking anywhere on this button will activate it, 
and it can be moved around all over the page as one item, making it more efficient. And if the layout changes somewhere else on the page, you're not gonna have multiple elements getting scattered. We have successfully overcome the limits of Wix.com. This method is great for mobile buttons. That's probably where it's most useful. Buttons that have a lot of text, or if you wanna add in an image or just get super creative with your buttons. If you need help getting your message out through your website, video, or any part of your marketing strategy, reach out to JAG Results to get the results that you dreamed of but can't seem to attain. My email is in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial really helps and have a great day.